Welcome back. This is Kate. I'm here with my friend Matt McGraw. Hey, everybody. He's here to tell his story, which is really cool. Um, he's one of those miracle stories that I mentioned in one of my videos where I think we both really saw a great change after the instrument assisted soft tissue mobilization intervention. And he's been kind enough to come tell a little bit of his story. So I'm going to let him take the mic. Sure. Um, so I suffer from ankylosing spondylitis, uh, an autoimmune disease that uh, really causes a lot of inflammation in your body, which has caused my joints to fuse together. Um, most of the joints in my spine are totally fused. It's a very limited range of motion. For example, here's, here's looking left and right. That's left, and that's right. So you can see it's very, very tight. Um, so for years, I've suffered from inflammation, pain, stiffness, tried different techniques, medications, therapies, some work better than others. Um, it wasn't until just recently that I received some treatment from Kate using the eye stem and just got phenomenal results. Um, range of motion increased, I uh, was sleeping better, more energy, just, just across the board. I uh, was just excited about what I was finally getting from, from a, um, a therapy standpoint. So with AS, ankylosing spondylitis, mm -hmm. there is, like he said, fusing of the joints. Um, Matt has fusion pretty much up and down. I haven't seen any um, complete fusion of the thoracic spine, but I feel that there's at least a little bit there after treating him. Um, this can cause a lot of problems um, in your musculoskeletal system, for instance, lack of range of motion. Uh, when your joints don't get to move around, neither do your muscles and tendons. So you get this constant pain and sense of tightness. And a lot of times your posture becomes locked in a very, very yeah. crouched way. And that's something that, that Kate's pointed out to me that we're really working on. Um, unfortunately, I didn't put my health first for so long. Uh, you know, it was career, it was kids, it was family. Even though when I was first diagnosed, you know, the doctors told me you need to stretch and exercise or you could have this happen to your body. And I just didn't pay attention, you know, unfortunately. So now the kid is like, hey, you need to do these things, Matt. And I'm like, okay, we'll get it done. So. At the beginning, I was a little nervous just because a lot of people, unfortunately, give up on AS patients and it's, it's heart wrenching. And when you see somebody that, you know, is locked in, I'm not going to you know, break their bones. I'm not going to break the joints. I'm not going to try to manipulate him to be mobile again. Cause it doesn't work that way. Um, I was a little bit nervous on how much we could actually get, but I had seen such great results with, with iStim in other cases that I thought, you know what, what the heck? There is a strong musculoskeletal component, like I said, with the soft tissue locking up, adhesion, scar tissue. I mean, part of the process with AS is your your bones calcify. That's kind of how they they fuse together. And there's a whole bunch of scar tissue that forms around those around those sites just because of the the histamines and the other kinds of um, chemicals that basically cause your body to freeze up. Um, yeah. Kate, you you really touched on that point about the soft tissue and, and the ligaments and the tendons. Um, and, and at least for, in my disease and how that inflammation caused everything to be so tight and, and not ever getting a good technique to get those, the, the, the fascia to relax and, and get, you know, be hydrated again, so to speak. Um, I stim is really the only technique that I've received that really helped out in that. Sure, massages and those things, but I think with the tools, you were really able to get down into that tissue and those joints and, and, and get that release that I haven't been able to get for sure ever, for, for so long. And when it happens, like, yes, thank you. I think what's really great too is I, I love how excited he gets. It's kind of why I wanted him on here because I know that you guys have seen my goofy videos and I get really super excited about, about iSTEM because it's worked for, you know, me, for my patients, for this guy, he's just as excited because um, we actually increased his range of motion, his cervical range of motion uh, more so than I thought we could. He has improved his posture. The kyphosis is still there a little bit, but his forward head isn't as, uh, as prominent and his external rotation in his shoulders um, is, is coming back. Uh, so I want to touch on two things before we um, talk about anything else. The, with the posture comes breathing. So scenario one. <laughs> as, as you remind me, <laughs> let me sit up straight and put my shoulders back here. I know, like, we're on camera here. <laughs> so with, um, when, you're, when your spine starts to fuse up, well, what attaches to your spine? Your, your ribs, right? Well, your ribs are an important component of breathing. You know, you have the muscles in between your ribs, your intercostals, your lungs expand. And if your ribs are locked in, 
because your spine's locked in, then chances are you're not getting full lung expansion. And so your VO2 max decreases, fatigue increases, and um, it, it kind of can propose a problem for pneumonia in a lot of in a lot of serious cases. And Matt can kind of attest to that. Yes, pneumonia put you in the hospital for several days. And, and, and like Kate said, with, with all the things going on in my spine, just have no chest expansion. So it's hard to expel things from, from the lungs when I do get sick. So you get that so fluid buildup. Huge with, with her helping, you know, the intercostals. Is that what you said? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I'm learning so much. Her. Um, it, it, I feel it, even though you might not see the expansion, I feel the difference in my chest as I can, as I start to breathe uh, and get that relief from, from, from the treatments. With the posture improving. So there's automatic increase of expansion. You have um, when you breathe in deeper and kind of force through and stretch those intercostals, it improves, like I said, VO2 max. It allows you to not uh, feel that fatigue onset as quickly and helps prevent those you know, cases of pneumonia that you really don't want to see. Um, so what we did, he had told me that he felt some sort of a almost restriction, obviously, in, in the, the rib area like we just discussed. But also there's that diaphragm that plays a huge part in breathing. You know, we hear from Pilates instructor, instructor, sit on your sits bones, uh, look at your diaphragmatic breathing. And when I first saw him, he was all belly, no <laughs> attention whatsoever. Like I didn't even know how this guy was breathing. Um, his belly would get so big and then no long movement. So we did an experiment. I worked a little bit on the posterior section of his ribs, kind of towards the facet joints. But then when we turned over, I said, you know, we need to, work this from all angles, lateral, anterior, lateral both sides, and posterior, like I talked with on my cervicalgia video. So we started working on the anterior compartment and I that just unlocked something I hadn't seen until we started. He was more upright, working, if your rectus abdominis is tight and your diaphragm's tight, you're gonna be crouched kind of like fetal position. When we worked on that with the tools, which makes it so much easier, let me tell you, than my hands uh, in this particular case. <laughs> I saw results after day one and tell them how it felt when I was digging on your diaphragm. Oh, it, it, it felt so bad. It hurt so bad, but it felt so good. I mean, it, it's hard to explain unless you've, you know, you know, when you have a knot in your or, or, or trigger point in a muscle mm-hmm. and you're getting a massage and that, and that, that, that therapist gets on it and just sends that rating, yes. but then the release afterwards. So the post treatment was just phenomenal. I mean, I just walked around like on a cloud for a day going, oh, and, and, and what's really exciting for me is that how long have we been doing this? Maybe 10 treatments, a dozen? What's Probably, well, we started out with just once a week and then we bumped it to twice a week. Right. So we, we saw yeah, it's a handful, results. a handful of, yeah. of treatments in, in at least if you look at a big picture. At least a dozen. Okay. If I'm getting this, you know, that type of relief in just 12 treatments, what happens if I keep doing this for six months? You know what I mean? I just I get excited because of the relief that I get. Um, I get excited because there is, you know, hope for people in my situations that you know, hey, don't don't give up. You know, I was at the end of my rope. I was like, hey, I'm done. I, I, there's nothing else for me to try until I found Kate. And I'm like, hey, this is, hey, I'm exercising again. I, I you know, I'm, I'm hiking. I'm doing things that I hadn't been able to do in the past or hadn't been able to do to the level of what I want to do as far as enjoyment and and physical activities, which is really, really cool. And you don't need a lot of time um, for the, the STEM surprised at how quick the treatments were, you know, it's not 30 seconds, but a few minutes, each area and you're good. And we coupled it. um, He's very active, which, which helps uh, our case, but we coupled it with the stretching and strengthening. um, And sometimes ice, just depending Mm -hmm. because AS, if you don't know, um, it's an inflammatory disease, so you have to really watch out for uncontrolled inflammation, which we want to anyways, but um, just to keep everything under wraps, made sure we did everything properly to keep that inflammation going towards healing versus making everything worse and chronic injury occurring again. Um, the most important thing I have to say is get educated. I know I say that in every video, but to learn how to apply the treatment to help somebody's life like this is just such a phenomenal feeling. It is, it just is one of those things where I love, this is the reason I love what I do because you can help people like this. <laughs> and when people are so excited, it really makes me excited too. <laughs> well, thank you, Kate, for, for, the, for the treat. And oh, anyway. Yeah, Hawkerf's the tools that we've used for, for him. I've used almost every single one on him actually. Um, 
I actually, I wonder which one is your favorite. I was about to say, you know what's what my favorite is? I was, uh, you were thinking like, like what's my favorite? You know which one it is. It's, no, I don't. Oh, Let's see. Come on. Which one's your favorite? Oh, the, this. <laughs> this uh, is, is phenomenal. Uh, as far, my biggest complaint when I walked into therapy was, was headaches. Um, oh, oh yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So, I know. See, I'm learning. Like, yes. like, like, Go to the cervicalgia video. We talk about it. Right. right. And so this uh, tool uh, was just phenomenal and the, the relief it provided. I think that is by far my favorite. Just that when we, when you dig in with that, oh. <laughs> it is so versatile and Hawkirk's design is phenomenal. They have the uh, little grips, hence the name, I think. Um, and then just as I showed you on the video a couple days ago, it's easy for self-treat. He could actually self-treat himself. So if you're trying to release obstacles, that's a great idea. We should shoot a video on how <laughs> we can self-treat. But yeah, and that's exactly, I started doing self-treat videos this week. And so he might be helping me out in the future. Um, but again, this tool, I completely agree with you. It's one of my favorites as well. I just now noticed that it's beveled, that this, mm -hmm. this edge, mm -hmm. is a, I don't want to say a sharper edge mm -hmm. than this. That's cool. And I'm hoping to put a video on uh, education for these as well. But the bevel is very important. Right. It's, I don't know if you're a clinician listening, but when you try to do a release on sub, right underneath somebody's occiput, it can be a little bit um, hard on the dip joints and other things like that. And you don't want to get cramping. So career longevity for me doing occipital releases, I just have the patient lie down, I loop underneath, and this goes right under um, the cranium. I mean, it locks in almost better than my hands, I want to say. And I just can sit there. There's no stress on my body. He can tell me exactly what he's feeling. From a patient standpoint, I've had that that technique when I've had massaging before where, where the, the therapist will take her fingers and get underneath there. And, you know, after about 20 seconds, you can feel their hands start, <laughs> start to spasm as they're like, Ugh. Kate will get in there and, and just hold it. And, and the relief that I get from that tool, far superior than you know, using your fingers and just that one instance that I can imagine with all the other tools in your arsenal. I <laughs> love my arsenal, <laughs> by the way. So one other thing that I want to add before we kind of close up and get ready for the video that we're going to post next on treatment um, is especially with this occipital release for him for decreasing that, that forward head and increasing, you know, better posture, better breathing. When I use this on him versus my fingers, for one, yes, you know, it, it, you don't want my hands to start shaking, but it's easier for them to relax as a patient because they're not feeling me struggle to hold on to their head for you know, however yes. many minutes. And this gets right to the point a lot better than my fingers. Like, I don't, I guess I kind of have fat fingers, but some of us has fatter fingers you know than what, others. And what I liked about that, Kate, was being able to kind of push my own weight back into that. Mm -hmm. You know, once you would get, because you and I would we'll, we'll work together and you're like, okay, that's it. That's the point is by you holding that steady and me applying the pressure and allow me to control that it's a lot easier because that's a solid, you know, if I push back mm -hmm. into your fingers, you know, you could get a little. So. It's, it's stationary and yes. he can go from what we call a passive recipient. So he's just lying down. I'm applying more pressure to an active recipient yeah. where he's actually moving against or back and forth against the, the tool. So, I mean, all, all in all, he is one of the, stories that I just, I really am glad to share because though I've seen really good results with 100%, which is rarely said 100% of my patients with this kind of tool, um, IASTM technique, he stands above the rest because it's just when you can make a change in somebody's life, not just your own, but somebody else's, it just, it makes everything worthwhile. And with these things, I've been able to see miracles and I, i'll call them miracles i'll say it yeah but i i call her my angel you know because just mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> the, the relief uh from from the treatments is just unmatched from from what i've had in the past 40 some years so still that out there yeah it's not a fad this this eye stem this this product this treatment can really impact so many people and i'm just glad people like this are willing to to talk about it so in a second, I'm actually going to show you um, one of the treatments that we did for his breathing. So we'll go into the intercostals a little bit and the diaphragm. I haven't been treating him for a while. Now so. you see how excited I got when I knew I was going to get <laughs> this treatment on my tongue? Yes. Really? We, I might, it's like an addiction. I'm sorry. <laughs> 
at least it's healthy. <laughs> right, right. But I just want to say thank you for listening. And I know that this is this is supposed to be a very casual channel, very casual for clinicians, for patients. And I really appreciate you um, coming in and listening to stories like his. Yep. And if you have any other stories out there that you want heard, please feel free to contact me. I've had some people contact me already for some requests. So um, stay tuned. Or if you have any questions on AS, I'd be more than happy to answer that. Or Kate is extremely knowledgeable on disease, probably one of the most knowledgeable person I knew about my disease other than a rheumatologist. So throw that out there. Thank any you so questions much. about AS, either one of us can answer that. I can forward the information to him too. So thank you very much and stay tuned. We're about to put a video on for treatment for AS and breathing techniques. Bye. Bye.